here. Studio update, awesome. Oh, that's awesome. I'm learning that YouTube is actually pretty uh, useful for this kind of stuff. Let's just take this. on Patreon. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, guys. How are you? So, let's go ahead and move this over here. Open this up in Patreon. I'm going to post it real quick for everyone with a link. now. Okay. It's only published. So cool. I guess you can see it right in Patreon now. Okay. That's pretty interesting. Um, wow. Pretty, pretty fucking interesting. And the latency is not super bad right now either. Um, thank you for the update. Yes, you're so welcome. Hey, Christine and Sean, that's so cool. I love that everyone knows each other. Um, that's super cool. So I'm just waiting for some more people to jump on. Um, I obviously got myself a little haircut. I'm actually liking it a lot right now from the side. I think it looks pretty cool. I like not having a lot of hair. It feels good. Um, I'm assuming everyone can hear me. Can everyone hear me okay? Uh, audio? Someone fucking answer me. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. I love it. You guys are all chatting amongst yourselves and everything, and that's actually uh, super cool. Um, our, our, group of, uh, our group of humans are, is uh, the best group of humans. They're so nice, so cool. So um, here we are. I'm in the studio today. Um, I was in the studio yesterday, and we've been in the studio a lot lately. And um, I was in the studio yesterday with uh, uh, with Tim and Dave from Edema, and we spent most of the day recording new Edema ideas. I was gonna play some and post some, but honestly, some of the recordings that I got wouldn't have given you the right idea, so I decided not to post it. And um, somewhere through getting done with what those guys last night, and and or yesterday and then into last night, I talked Amir into just going ahead and moving forward with the new Mac Studios. Um, so our setup right now, I'm using my, my, my laptop just to monitor our conversations, but I'll put it over here for a minute. Um, our setup right now has been this, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a Mac Mini and we've been running a Mac Mini in here for 10 years. Um, we initially had uh, Pro Tools HD systems, so you know we had the really really high end, you know forty thousand dollar, you know external fucking hardware, all that kind of stuff systems, and we slowly had to start, uh, you know, sort of downgrading and upgrading away from it, so that we could continue to use, uh, you know, use new software and plugins and all that kind of stuff, and um, we just couldn't afford to, you know, keep replacing it with, you know. $10,000, $20,000 pieces of gear. So um, fast forward to now, and Apple finally is making computers again, apparently. And the new M1 Mac Studio, we, after exhausting research, we decided this was going to be the way to go for the next 10 years. And it's a radical change uh, in computing. So we are very careful about trying to change these systems because... You know, even the fact that we were able to migrate Pro Tools onto this computer now and a lot of the plugins and everything, there's still tons of stuff that needs to be done to be able to do a session on this. But, um, you know, I don't think Pro Tools now works anymore on this Mac uh, Mini. I think that it's been licensed now on this computer. So I was going to go back to the old system and start up Pro Tools and see how long it took. And then start Pro Tools on this system because I have them, you know, side by side. I just have to, I just have to uh, switch inputs. Um, oh, excuse me, that was the same input. I just have to 
switch inputs and then plug in the keyboard into that uh, you know computer but um, I think that that's not really gonna work anymore I don't think that that's gonna really matter um, I'm using a, a TV I'm using a 42 inch 4k TV uh, I don't think that I recommend that uh, if anyone is using you know TVs for computer monitors I think the TVs don't really display fonts as well I, I just don't think they're as good for computer monitoring I did this just because I wanted to, it was cheap and I just wanted to see if it would be cool to have like a bigger screen like a much bigger screen I didn't know if it would be awesome the jury's still out on that honestly I think that having a really big screen means that when you're working in a information dense environment I think that when you're looking at something you actually have to look over here to go see the next thing and then over here and over here whereas maybe even like a 34 inch which would be here <laughs> it looks so much smaller you can actually see the whole thing in your field of vision and I think it might be easier to look at the information and it's still enough, it's still huge enough to have like a big monitor, you know, experience. Maybe even a curved big, you know, monitor. I might get that next. Um, but first, let's get this working. So this was um, a bit of a bitch. We had to take it out of the box and immediately downgrade the system. So we had to erase the computer and put the Monterey on instead of Ventura. That was a bit of a, you know, that was something. <laughs> so we had to bring a drive in with just Monterey on it. And we had to boot from that drive and just completely, you know, basically downgrade the computer because none of the stuff that we use is going to work other than Pro Tools proper and the, and the plugins that come with Pro Tools. But we use so many, we use a thousand plugins and they're all by different companies. And Amir has been cool enough to basically sit down here and I think I sold it to him as experiment on my computer first. That one way, when we go to your computer, you know exactly what to do. And I think it worked because he's been in here for the last two days doing a lot of this with me and for me. Um, there's some stuff I've got to do now that he took off to go work out and everything. Um, I'm going to get a bunch of stuff done. I got to get Dropbox working. So once Dropbox is working, which is a big thing for us too, because we work completely out of Dropbox. Um, I work on a session, I put it in the Dropbox and get out, and Amir can work on it at his house, who can work at it at his house. Um, Brandon, the Annex, can work at it on his house. Um, so there's all this cool stuff that we do, but you got to get that working so our sessions can work in here. So um, we do have Pro Tools working. We have a lot of plugins working, not everything. Um, another thing I've got to do is um, we, have a, we have a Thunderbolt option card that I have to add to our Universal Audio Apollo, which is right here, and that is running all of our Universal Audio stuff. I have to add this card uh, to make it work with this uh, fucking computer. <laughs> it'll be faster, it'll be more powerful. So there's all sorts of good stuff about it. So the idea for me is, um, oh, here we go. Guess I haven't been touching the computer long enough, there we go. So th this is the new, this is the new, um, this is the new studio that we're looking at right here, um, which is in, you know, real 4K, which is really, really cool. The, the, the older uh, Mac Mini was not in 4K, so everything was much bigger, and it looked fine, but it, I can tell the difference, and I don't really like that. I, I'm going to like having more information on the screen, so um, that's going to be cool. We're going to open up Pro Tools in a minute and show you. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, so we have all these external things, Universal Audio, Universal Audio, um, we've got sound libraries right here, we've got um, just all sorts of stuff that, that goes into this that helps make all the shit work, and, um, and it's been quite a journey to, to get all this to, to start to see each other, but hopefully by tonight, I'm going to be able to record, which gets me to why am I doing all this when I have a system that works perfectly fine. We're suspecting that with this new chip, that it'll be as close to zero latency out of the box as possible. Um, we don't know yet. I'm fucking dying, dying to record a vocal <laughs> without using console. I wanna try it. I wanna try it so bad. I wanna put the sample rate and everything just as, you know, as fucking crazy as I can possibly get it. And I just wanna hit record and Put on my headphones and sing the fucking vocal and take them off and play it out, you know, here with no latency. 
That's what I'm hoping. Right now I have to, to do that, I have to go to console and unmute it there so I can have some monitoring and then I have to go back to the to the DAW and mute it and, and hit record and then you know you do the part and you have to have a separate thing of effects up on the on the monitoring system, you have to have a separate thing of effects up on the DAW. So you can imagine jumping back and forth and working really quickly, like I typically work. Um, it can it can pretty much cramp your style pretty quickly. So I'm I'm dying to dying fucking dying to try some latency free recording um i hope that it fucking works if not it's just going to be a very powerful computer <laughs> so we'll see but i don't know if you guys are as curious as i am to kind of see how quickly um, this thing will boot up pro tools I i'm definitely pretty interested and i think you guys can see it okay um now i'm gonna go ahead and not go to that workout appointment with amir um I hate, hate when a mirror gets a, 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 a one workout more than me. I hate it. I hate it. I like to be the one that works out the most, does the most jujitsu, works the most everything. I fucking hate it. And, you know, if you're not the one doing it the most, then you can't tell other people to do it. <laughs> so you got to do the shit if you want to tell other people to do the shit. But this has got to be done. So. You know, let's do it. So interesting thing for people who are considering the, the, the Mac Studio. Um, as we were installing and putting plugins on and doing all this kind of stuff and the, and the computer has to reboot. Weirdly, it rebooted so, rebooted, rebooted. It, re, it rebooted so quickly yesterday that Amir and I didn't know what the fuck happened. So when we should, you know, you go and restart your computer to, to make the program kind of, you know, finish executing it and everything. It went to restart and it goes and the screen went black and it came back on and the fucking thing was back on it it like went through the boot process like that so we were a little shocked that's pretty fast um i have the computer plugged in it's a pretty blazing fast internet right now i actually had some problems with my internet earlier which is fucking annoying we suspect that this core just doesn't work anymore that's a weird fucking thing to happen but okay um but we have it plugged into what we think is stable internet. So let's just make sure it is working. Let's open up uh, Safari. Yeah, that's pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty good, fast um, connection. Yeah, it's pretty fucking good. It's pretty fast. And someone's here. I don't know who's here, but I can always shut the, uh, there's Wolfgang. Oh, I want to boot up Pro Tools, so let's, let's lock my dog up real quick. Who's that? just like lay down in the studio. He has to run away, run around up front and, uh, and make a big fucking, make a bunch of noise. Um, that's funny, Eric. No, I don't think they beat me up. I just don't, I just like to be the fucking trendsetter. I like to be the one, I like to be the fucking, I like to be the one that like is working, you know, really hard and I want to be like the inspiration for, for my group of friends. You know, I want, I want to crush it. You know, all the time. I don't like it when other people get an extra fucking workout in. Bugs me. Um, I do use other DAWs along with Pro Tools. I use Ableton as well. And we're going to put Ableton on this as well. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty goddamn ready to do it right now. But I've got to deauthorize this one to do this one. So it's a bit of a, bit of a, uh, bit of a thing. So um, let's see, let's see. Wolfie was secretly broadcasting on only dogs. Yeah, Wolfie is so silly. Um, all right, let's uh, let's figure this out. Let's just see how quickly Pro Tools boots. So here we go.
Bertolt's ultimate. Okay. Um, it seemed like there was a little weird delay, like in when I clicked it. Maybe maybe I didn't click it uh, confidently enough. That was pretty quick. It didn't blow me out of my fucking seat or anything. That was quick. Um, so let's open up one of my templates. Usually this takes a second on that computer. Let's just open up test. That's it's pretty quick. That was really quick. <laughs> um, granted, there's not a bunch of instruments and music here, but that that was very that was very fast. So one thing I'm already noticing um, there's a lot of room for information here. So this section here would normally let's move my let's move my microphone. This section here would normally take over to here on a, on another screen at a different resolution, right? It was obviously if it's a bigger resolution, it would be over to here. That's cool that that it's like this because I need I I hate having to scroll all over the place to find info. So that's super cool. Um, definitely liking that. Um, everything's definitely a lot smaller. But another thing is this area here on the other resolution. I know that computer people are like, of course, dummy. But there's some other people that don't really think about this stuff. So fuck you, computer people. Um, this stuff used to take up all the way to over there. So what that means now is that I can leave things like my color palette. Oh, gosh. I can just leave that right there. And, and it's just out of the way. Normally, this would sit over, uh, you know, this big chunk of the music and everything, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. And I have room, it looks like, to put even another item or two, or they could even just live, you know, down here. So it's kind of out of the way of where I want to work. Um, I, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, I don't know if our I.O. situations are up yet. They may not be. I, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't look like... It's probably because the Universal Audio is not up and running yet. So I, I'm almost tempted to record a vocal and see if there's any latency, but I can't do that yet. So we're just not that far along. But so far, I'm, I'm liking the way this is looking. This is cool. I mean, I still haven't gone in and messed around with the... Uh, you know, with the um, resolution, I haven't made it to where I think I would want it. Um, I haven't messed with, you know, anything, any of the aesthetics or anything like that. But this definitely looks pretty uh, cool. Yeah. Don't save. I don't know why the other one did save. That's really weird. So we don't have Dropbox yet. Let's see if there's anything else. Maps. Yeah, it's going to do this. Yes, go ahead and use my location. All right. Let's try that again. Just see how quickly some of this stuff pops up. Yeah, it's pretty fucking snappy. I mean, that was, that was instantaneous. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, definitely, definitely pretty excited. Um, you know we've uh, we've done quite a bit of work over the last couple of days, and we um, we definitely uncovered the the concept that a, a, a Julian K may have um, we may have in excess of 20, 20 plus songs. Um, obviously, finishing them is you know easier said than done, but we're finally at that point where all the complaining and hand wringing over how hard it is to create the songs. We're, we're definitely at a point right now where we've got a lot of material. So we might be looking at a future with, um, you know, maybe two, two albums again. Um, these being not related. So they're two very different types of things and they might be able to come out in, in different interesting ways. So we're finally getting to a point where we have a lot of material again. So I'm, I'm really excited about that.
Um, new edema stuff is definitely coming. It's definitely happening. Everything is working out great. Um, the new songs are rad. And um, I'm starting to get that flow where we can work on both bands and, and do it every day and, and start to get this stuff done. I'm, I'm really excited. I hope that that this guy is going to be a game changer and make my workflow a lot easier just by eliminating latency. Any of you there that doesn't know what latency is, latency is when you, is the time it takes when you make a sound for you to hear the sound. So there is a, there is a delay in that, believe it or not. And when you, depending on how you're recording, or m most digital workstations have a delay. So it adds an extra step of, into all of your recording. So if I can just hit record and just work and not have to constantly bounce between console and all this kind of stuff, Personally, for me, I think it's going to make things a lot quicker, and it'll be more like um, it'll be more like when I started out using Pro Tools when um, we had the the HD systems and there was no latency. You know, I could just sit down and hit record and record something and all kind of stuff and keep moving. You know, now there's a lot of things we've had to do to make it work uh, without the HD rigs. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, let's see. What else is going on here? Thank you. My hair looks uh, tidier. Thank you. Yeah, it was really bugging me. Ha, <laughs> guitar related question. Did you update to the new HX Stomp firmware? I haven't updated yet. Uh, I think I think Mike, Mike did. He got the HX Stomp, like the smaller one, or do I have the Stomp and he has a different one? I forget what he what he has and what he did, but I know that he was he got it all ready for this last show that we played, and it's his board and everything is becoming much smaller and and much easier to deal with. So that's really really cool. I have not updated my stomp. Um, I'll probably be pretty terrible about it, but I'll definitely update everything before the next uh, you know Julian K runs. Um, I just sure as fuck hope it doesn't um, erase what I have because I've created a really good world of effects in there. I really don't want it changed. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, let's see what else. Let's see. You want to go to more edema shows, but how much more can we do this year? Uh, you can't do any. Uh, there are there are no more edema shows till next year. Till till deep you know into like late March I think is the first edema show. And there's no more Julian K shows period until maybe summer. So we're we're done with this shit for a while. So um, you have the HX Stomp XL. It's great with the new cabs. Um, I don't know what that means with the new cabs. Uh, make sure you back up. Yeah, I I'm definitely I agree with you there. Um, maybe you buy the new cabs. You need you mean the amp modeling? Um, yeah, it's probably pretty good. Uh, we don't use amp models. Um, we have them in there for an emergency. But um, we use a lot of real amps because um, absolutely nothing, uh, especially for a live setting, absolutely nothing comes close to that. Keppers, all of it, uh, we crush them. We see these guys on tour all the time, and they always try to put their shit up against ours, and, and it just makes such a difference to have an actual amp on stage, you know, for, for the live situation. So, all right, what else is going on here? What else is going on? Mm -hmm. Looking for questions. Looking for questions. Yeah, I know. This chair. Yeah, pretty expensive chair to make that much noise. Jesus. It's pretty annoying. Uh, let's see. All right. How am I liking the Mac Studio so far? I don't know yet. So far, it's just been a pain in the butt. Um, yeah, it is quite a squeaky chair. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, no, we're not going to squeeze in another show. Yeah, for this year. We're definitely not going to squeeze in another show. Um, touring and the shows destroy this workflow. So shows are a lot of work. You got to get everyone together. You got to get all your gear. You got you to you hire people. You have to do all the shit, and it's, and it's its own thing. You can't be out playing a bunch of shows and create a new album. It's not possible. So we're going to be home. Um, I actually got offered a bunch of shows in January, and I said no. I turned them down. So we don't want any shows. 
someone wants to pay us, you know, 25 grand for a show, yeah, I'll play the fucking show. But unless it's that, I'm not doing it. Um, it's more important to have new material. I think it's time. I think that I was so pissed off that, you know, our ability to tour disappeared after Orgy. You know, we just couldn't really do it. And uh, I was so pissed off about it and so vexed on how to fix it. You know, I just dedicated myself to rebuilding it. And we rebuilt it to a point where we were, we're playing so many shows we can't even fucking stop. And we're doing so good and everything's awesome. But what ended up happening was we now need music. So we've got to be home to do that. And we are going to be home. We're going to really dedicate and do this. So we definitely need new material. And I am ready to be home for a little bit. Oh, Damone made a, a couple changes to his OBS setup. That is pretty neat. I, I still remember that we actually do need to have like a private like Zoom. That's that's super cool. And definitely congratulations, Eric. That is the coolest thing. I saw the proposal. That was so cute. You guys are so cute. It's awesome. So, okay. Well, cool. I mean, that's as far as we've gotten right now. I just wanted to kind of check in with you guys. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to do this was to see if anyone would tune in. Because um, I do want to start doing some more stuff during the week, especially now that I'm home. And as we get this uh, up and running, I'm really looking forward to, um, you know, sharing how this ends up working out. So, uh, and I, at some point I need to play you some new material as well. So, yeah. So, looking forward to uh, connecting more. And thanks for tuning in right now. And I'll see you guys later.